been so long since I did a stream. I kind of forgot how to do a stream. Oh well. Uh, welcome for another gaming chill. It hasn't been quite a month since I last did one, but I've been kind of on hiatus with podcasting lately anyways. So I figured I'd at least... I felt up to recording something before I went on stream today. So I figured like doing something like this would be a little quick and short. I'm not sure if we're actually going to show off May Day right now. Because I just think I want to just chill around the island and do my thing. And I, if I recall correctly, May Day actually requires sinking. And the whole point of gaming chill is to be, play something that doesn't require sinking. So I can just focus on talking and all that. But I struggle with getting everything out that I want to say as this. Like I guess said, typically only play this game once a month to do game and chill. Can't recall the last time I played this game on my own. I think it's like technically the day after during like toy day. I did like a game and chill around that time, but did one like played the game shortly after just on my own. But I kinda uploaded that as a video anyway, so only semi relevant. That's it. I want to, like, get a second to get today's mindless task put together and maybe take a little time to prepare my faucet in advance so I don't have to do, like, 20 different takes. So just give me a sec. So... I know things kind of been, like, weird and inconsistent. Minus, like, the YouTube stuff that I just have, like, such a huge bulk backlog that's... Even if I am out of commission for a whole, a whole month. Everything's back in swing of things and all that. But... Essentially, I want to, like, take a little time to update on some things going on with the channel. First and foremost, the podcasting. I think I got about everything with Anchor set. Like, the major downside between Anchor and what I use currently is the quality. You can't up... I can't... I can't upload in the same quality that I used to if I'm going to go full on Anchor. It's a little bit less. But I think like having a backlog would be worth slightly worse quality. We'll have to see when making the transition. Again, like, if you're following me on social and happen to like pick up on the new podcast server when I boot it up, you're free to let me know over on the Twitter. And if it's like really bad, we can always swap back. I'm not going to get rid of the SoundCloud. I might stop updating to, to it accordingly if it gets too bad. But the only major thing that's actually keeping me from releasing it, like now, that I'm trying to find a workaround is Apple. Like the whole Apple iTunes thing. Well, I can't tell if... I guess part of it's a TV because I'm looking at the screen monitor. Or looking at like the capturing. And of course I always freaking grab that outdoor bath. Just try and pick up apples and accidentally pick up the bath and it, and it, as you might suspect it gets a little annoying sometimes. Tangent aside, tangent aside. I think like I'm gonna like Anchor auto updates to everything but Apple and I honestly don't know how to like get set up to go to Apple on my own. In an ideal scenario, like, I would love to have to actually have, like, my... Have the original, current URL for Fireside Chat. Game and Chill and that. On the Apple Podcast server, be the same, but I don't know how to do that. I'm just gonna, like, either figure out how... Figure I should at least figure out how to do one or the other. So, like, it... I guess the overall theming of the current stats with the channel is like, it doesn't seem like there's anything to update on scene, but behind the scenes, I'm making a lot of progress. Like, my next po my next Pokemon streaming series that I want to do, I, I was procrastinating putting it off for so long, and a couple, like a week or so ago, I actually sat down, figured out the stuff to do it, and it was actually pretty quick when I... It was actually pretty quick. Sorry, I just noticed I was talking really, really, really fast. And I should have, like, slowed down a little bit. We got all day. Let's see. 
fish returning on April 10th. And May Day currently. Eh, if I can time, I wouldn't mind doing game chill during a fishing tourney day. It's just a matter of remembering when the fishing tourney actually is taking place. Again, again. Tangents aside. Lots of things have been going on behind the scenes. As you may know if you're following me on Twitch, I finished up the main story of Let's Go Eevee. And... I figure it's like, I haven't exactly been consistent with streaming. I even missed some Saturdays. And I know I'm going to be missing, like, next Saturday. Or, I'll just say May 7th, because I don't know if this is going to make, if I'm going to get this done in time to go up for this week. Or it'll be, end up just being game and chill for that particular weekend. But I figure, like, I might as well, so before I actually get back in the full swing of a consistent streaming schedule, I might as well take May 7th off because there's a charity stream going on that weekend that I'll definitely have I'm going all weekend that I'll be spending all my time with. So while I'm like just streaming when I can and not like sticking to a schedule, I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes and that's the whole point I was trying to get at. Podcasts are coming along pretty well. In an ideal world, I'd like to build up the backlog a little bit before bringing things back, but it also requires syncing up of backlog specific podcast ideas. And that's kind of where I've been at a slump. Plus, I've like been focusing that time on other things, like my first edit, my first non-streaming base playthrough slash LP. In a hot minute. That's actually coming along pretty nice. Got two episodes basically done already. But I'd like to like at least get a month's worth before I release or even reveal that project. I will tease it a little bit like talking about the fact that it's a project that I've been working on for a It's a game that I like found fairly recently. Enjoy so much from a little bit I played that I actually started doing the LP before finishing the game. I was convinced that I finished the game on my own time before starting up this project, but it's kind of looking like I'll actually like fit. That kind of got to the point that whenever I feel up to playing it, I'm just recording the playthrough. Because I guess another thing that makes it so easy to do is that it's going to be a post commentated series. I can't even know. This, I'm getting a sense of deja vu, but I might as well finish my statement at the very least. Got that sense of deja vu. But anyways, it's a project that's going to be mostly post-commentated, but I like have it, every time I go to play it, I set up for live commentary just in case something happens in the game. I at least have that moment captured. It's just based on the commentary, and I think I can reveal at this point I think, like, depending on how many outtakes I have, I may do multiple videos, but I think I'm going to do, like, an outtake video at the end of the project. Where I just go ahead and share every... And just share, like, all the shenanigans from the live commentary. There might be still be some in the project itself. But that's more so, like, a post... It's going to be, like, just, um... If it fits the context of what I'm talking about in Pulse Commentary or something. Like, uh, I'm winging. There's a lot of elements of it that I'm still winging. So, if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, it's because there's still... There's some parts of it that I'm still playing by ear, just seeing how it goes. I'm not ready to put a date on that yet, but... I wouldn't be surprised if it was ready to go by the time I started to... Streaming that next Pokemon project. And once I get back into, once I finish up, once I get back into the streaming schedule proper, I think I'm gonna start alternating between Pokemon, rotating the Saturday slot between a Pokemon-based project and just a playthrough of a different game. One that like fits my interest, but doesn't have to be restricted to Pokemon-related. I think it'd be more fun that way. Like, it'd take a little longer before things would be revealed. It might be... won't have as big of a backlog, because that time spent recording 
slash dreaming would be divided between two different things. But I guess it could, like, result in a good time. And, like, open up some more experimental things like speedrunning and that. Like, because after you may notice, while I was taking things easy, I kind of took, took out the Saturday bonus upload slot. So it's definitely a good opportunity to bring that back. Let's see, anything else? Of course I bring, like, all these backup supplies for practically everything. Got two fishing rods, two nets, but didn't bring a spare slingshot. You know, let me go dump off my things. Now give me a second to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I just realized that during that time frame... Another thing I can't have been doing on my own time is making... I've actually built up a backlog of... Stuff for my Instagram... Oh no. For Go K Purify. My Instagram account specifically for Pokemon Go snapshots. I do have a general Instagram account. I don't... I mean not probably too often. But it's definitely like... I definitely have the general Instagram listed on my site. GoKBeerify is an Instagram account just for, like, photos I take of Pokemon in the real world. Through the Pokemon Go app. So just so everyone's on the same page about that. But yeah, like, the past couple of events in the game kind of, like, give me a lot of inspiration to go out and take p photos. And I actually, like, think part of the reason why I haven't really done anything recording or content creation wise in general until just about now has a lot to do with the factor that I finally, finally took like I didn't really f I got back from a walk it started now that it's spring like the yard gets filled with grass a bit so I took some time to cut grass and it just was late and I wanted to be productive but I didn't really feel like doing anything else because it was late so I just took that time to build up, just build up my backlog of that particular thing. So I think I got so many photos that by the time this goes up, even if it doesn't go up at right when I'm recording it, there'll probably still be enough time. There'll probably still be new photos coming to the channel on a semi-frequent rate. I could have there's something else I want to mention, but drawing a blank. Yeah, like, there's some parts of my life that's still kind of just, uh, even with, like, vaccination and that, uh, I don't know if things are going back to normal, but taking care of the whole vaccination thing does at least make me feel a bit more confident that I'll be able to get back into the swing of making content. Because I specific one of the many reasons why I was taking times off and just taking things a little bit more casually. Tied into the factor of doing Because I was taking in it started with like, oh it's around the time I'm gonna get my vaccination and I know like a lot of people get knocked out by their second dose so I don't wanna like plan anything when I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. And then the following weekend is that charity stream I was talking about, TRG Coliseum. I don't need to plug them because I know they're pretty big content creators as is. But if you want to go follow pro, but I'm not gonna play money for charity is money for charity. But point being, like I'll probably be hosting them because that's the channel I'm gonna be watching from that Friday on the seventh to the entire weekend on Monday. So like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be streaming during that weekend. So I might as well host them on, on my channel. So like, if you come in Friday night and know knows I'm not streaming, you'll at least know where I am because I'll be hosting the channel and I'll be in that chat. It's just like, it's a lot of the content creator. There's a lot of the bigger content creators that I watch all coming together to have their own blocks for the entire weekend. So doubles is like a charity event and 
really good quality entertainment. So, probably like at the... Probably like mid-May. We'll get back into the swing of the streaming thing. I should have like a good backlog of everything else I want to do. Except for the channel and... Hopefully like I spend some time with this more casual time off. I won't say time off completely, but casual time off. By the time I like try to push a schedule again, I should be more than prepared to do so. Again, no, YouTube's a hobby first and foremost, so I don't want I don't want to make too many promises. Kind of want to see how things are once everything else settles down. And I think it's real life. Like I, I'm a little conflicted about things. Like I got my second vaccination, so I just kind of I just gotta wait another week and a half, and I'll be as good as fully vaccinated can be. But I don't feel like Linux is gonna change too much around. There are things I'm looking forward to, but they're very mundane things. Like I'll actually be able to, go, I'll actually feel comfortable going to the car dealership if I need a drop off my car for maintenance or something, or I I finally will have no excuse not to get a haircut. Because the big thing was, like, I did not feel comfortable with other people touching my face before then. And I think, I think the reasons are obvious if you know me. I'll probably be able to go back playing Pokemon Go in some of those more populated areas that I've been avoiding. Little things like that kind of, like, Push me through the thoughts of, what's even the point? It's not even... You're not going to change your habits that much because of more personal things. Why even get excited for the second vaccination? Little things like that are kind of like, even if they're not getting me excited, or at least give me reasons to enjoy it. Plus, there's the whole doing it for the sake of doing it because it's the right thing to do sort of thing. That's nothing in of itself. It's just a little frustrating to think that, like, it's just a little frustrating when I get focused on all the things that won't change. But I guess that's kind of like a weakness I have in general. Like the fact I constantly get fixated on when a day goes by, I constantly get fixated on the things I don't do. To the point where the things I do get done don't really feel like they matter. Like I'm sure I'm going to go to bed at night thinking about all the video editing I didn't do. The the recording I could have done if I did things earlier, but then I wouldn't have gone for that walk, and I wouldn't have cut the grass, and there's all these other things that only got got done because I spent the time doing that, and not the other things I'm thinking about that I haven't done. And that's just some casual words of wisdom to lay off on before I end off. I was hoping to catch a few more bugs around here before calling it a day, but I think if I'm just, if all I'm doing is just watering flowers, we can probably cut over to Art Block. I uh, podcast people will probably get this without Art Block, because Art Block's probably going to take another bit, and the more I think about it, the more it would be nice to get this up on Sunday, even though I'm recording it on Saturday, just because it's been a couple weeks since I've done any sort of podcasting in overall. The last thing I did was just like re-upload the commentary for Let's Go Eevee. Because, like, there wasn't anything else going up, and that post-commentary I recorded basically felt like an editorial about the game in and of itself. Oh, that reminds me of another idea I want to try, but, uh, I should be more confident if I'm going to do it or not next game and chill. So let's save it for then. Kind of having a little brain fart, because, like, I thought there was one other thing, I thought it was something to talk about in that time frame of talking. And I already forgot. Oh well, I'm sure if it's important I'll remember it again. You know what? Let's do it now. I was considering just uploading this as it is without our block, even for the podcast people. But if I just do this now before I put down the recording for the night, I can squeeze it in. After all, like a lot of the montage work for just the art block. It's already been done because, like, a lot of it's gonna be DLC stuff I didn't get a chance to include in the last art block. 
As you can probably see on screen now, I've been fiddling around with just finalizing the designs for Soul Spirits of the game. Because at the time, I feel like I kind of lost that spark. But at the time, I really wanted to make sure... I wanted to actually like start presenting it in some shape or form. Not actually like making the game or anything. Nah, that would require me to have skills I don't have. Along with effort. At least like pre start presenting in a blog or something like that. I don't know though, I get the feeling that's not going to be the case. But I did want to like at least like finalize designs because like I wasn't in the huge... It was an interesting character design in general, but I wasn't a huge fan of having charcoal characters or like having like the various coals for the fire soul spirit. I kind of wanted them to have. I wanted them to feel more similar, like. Have them all feel organic, I guess would be a good way to do it. Earth soul spirit is a bit of an exception. Like, I guess being part plant kind of adds on to that. But at the same time. It also kind of like works it out in its own way, like... It's part plan so it kind of works out. Anyways, I was rambling for so long, I really went over the section I want to talk about and related to team-ups. You know what, let me just go back to where that starts, and I could just like put in all the sketches in that that I had a feeling I wouldn't get around to in between. Or you know, not even team-ups, because I kind of did talk about that the last time I really sat down with everyone and try to just give a slightly long elevator pitch on what Overseer of the Elements is. But I was actually kind of... I haven't done it lately, but when I last recorded this montage, I actually sat down and just played around with trying to make classes for it, because like I mentioned before, it shares a lot of elements with Golden Sun, including the way the class customization works. Where, like, collectible collectible creatures you gather along your journey. Pardon my stuttering. Collectible creatures along your journey actually working together to be able to customize your classes. Like having all fire on a character would give them one class. Having all water on a character would give them another class. In addition to being able to use them in battle, and that dynamically changing your class along the way. So, a couple of the basic ones that I actually have done. I was focusing around Sarah, or Sarah, the fire user, quite a bit. And she'll make a good example of the basics I have planned out. I don't want to get too overcomplicated, especially if I ever do make this a game. And it would be my first game, and definitely, or at least first RPG. Who knows, if I ever become a game designer again, maybe like start with some basics just to warm me up. Nothing that would actually be worth like sharing or get big, but at least get me confident in the concept that I can program again. But yeah, I'm keep getting freaking sidetracked. The class system. From what I can gather, every character would have, like, th three basic class families, and maybe some more specialized advanced classes, uh, with some exceptions along the way. But with here, they would have, like, one class that aligns with their element. I don't have it in this particular sketch because it'd just be, like, her default one of a fire user. But you also have what I dubbed a Polar class, which is basically when you give Soul Spirits of the opposite element of that particular character. Fire and Water are opposite elements in Overseer the Element, so Sarah's, Sarah's Polar class would be a class that specializes in Water Soul Spirits. And for her it would be Miss Wish. And it works both ways, like the character in this game, who's a water elemental, would also have the Miss Witch class. They would just need to have be aligned with fire soul spirits in order to reach that polar class family. 
And I don't think there would actually be costumes in the actual game, but since I was sketching it out anyways, I thought it'd be more fun to, like, do a costume of what each class would have in the process. So with fire... The next... The third type of class is a complement class family. If fire and water are opposites, then like fire and earth would be complementary elements. So for Sarah, if she aligns herself with earth elementals, her class would turn into something I dubbed a magma punk or magma punk. And it's worth knowing that like each of these class would have their own strengths and weaknesses that would actually alter their stats along their element. And the classes would get stronger as you have more soul spirits aligned to them. So as, like as you see in the sketch, one earth element would give you the default rank, but three earth elements would give you a stronger class family. I was still like figuring out the names of the classes at this point. And five earth elements would give you, I think, the penultimate. Strength. It depends on like how big the game eventually ends up being. A lot of these are subjective. There's not anything in stone, of, of course. I think like the funnest one of the bunch was the Jason class family, and that's just like the odd one that just didn't, didn't wasn't an opposite and not really a line. It's just there. So with her, it would be win. So if there was to be aligned with. Wind Soul Spirits. Should we get Hauchin? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's kind of just, it's a whole other story of like how I come up with all, a lot of this stuff because a lot of it's just like googling around class families and or googling stuff of like different cultures on the internet to like get ideas. I was doing that a lot with like Soul Spirits especially when I was trying to fi figure out a good design for the Fire Soul Spirit. Because I like, like googling animals that had to do with that align themselves in fire in various cultures. I think the most interesting one I came across was salamander. Not that different from dragon. I was trying to make like it's like something of cultural significance, but still distinct. And at first glance, like fire doesn't really sound. Fire and salamander don't seem that different because fire. Because the salamanders are close to the dragons. But when I was doing more googling, there's a lot of interesting things related to the culture specifically of dragon or of salamanders with fire. And then like I was googling salamanders, and there's a salamander literally called the fire salamander. They had like a cool yellow and black design. And I just can resist going with that route for the fire soul spirit. Great. Now I have to actually remember to include that image in the mix of things. Oh well. That whole tangent was just to bring up the fact that like I was trying to google names, alternative names of people who use fire arrows and Hadrigan was just one of those that came up. I only, again, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. And I was like kind of, like for Sarah on the left, I was trying to base, actually base it off the Hadjuin that I looked up. The element for the right with the winds character taking on that this class, I took a little bit more liberties and just like went along with a Robin Hood sort of look. Because <laughs> I guess I just couldn't think of anything more distinct at the time. As you may recall from that sketch, Sarah's actually by herself for the Magma Punk, and there's a specific reason for that, because, like, I think the Earth Wheeler ha is going to be a little bit gimmicky. Originally, I was, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well bring up the fact that, like, with everything I have brainstormed so far for party members, I was originally just going to have a Fire, Water, Earth, and Wind user, and, like, all the other characters I wanted to include on the adventure would, like, be assist more natural party members. But I think, like, I 
over the past year or so, I've been trying to... I packed it down, made it a little more concrete. So, like, instead of, like, having, like, four ma main party members and a bunch of assist party members, I actually have five party members. And I guess I guess it's for the best, because, like, it, it's another thing to distinguish it from Golden Sun, so it's not just a Golden Sun clone. So, on top of the fire, water, on top of the four elements that I already have, like, it's gonna have a light specialist as well. And honestly, like, the light specialist isn't anyone new, like, I've been drawing her along from the beginning, and she was originally going she was gonna be part of this adventure as is, just as an assist, but I think it'd be more interesting to have her as a flesh out party member. Especially because like she kinda have a gimmick of just not being able to directly attack. The tough part is like trying to figure figure out how to how to not make her useless, but also not to make her busted, because if you have a party member that can do nothing but heal, you're gonna like lean towards using that party member because they can't do anything else but heal. But so like if I give all the other party members healing abilities, they might that party member might be useless unless I give them really good healing abilities in comparison. But then they become busted, and you have no reason to pl play around with all these other abilities. Little, little stuff like that that would only matter if I'm actually gonna make this video game and not just, like, dream about it. But it's still stuff I think about. Anyways, yeah, like, she's gonna have, like, her own family of classes, because Light doesn't exactly line up in all the other elements, it's his own thing. And the Earth user is... I hate to call her a gimmick character, but it's kind of like shaping out to be that way. Like, instead of like... I'm, I'm conflicted whether to give her her own basic classes. Like, she would be able to become a Magma Punk. Like Sarah would. And then, like, she have like a... Special, cla special class that she can un unleash in her own way. If you play Golden Sun Dark Dawn, you can kind of take a, like, Silva from that game. Except, there's no werewolves involved. It, replace werewolves with robots. And you're kind of like, you're kind of sitting on the same boat. Although that requires you actually play Golden Sun, <laughs> let alone Golden Sun Dark Dawn. And like, even Golden Sun, there's a lot of Golden Sun fans that don't want to play Dark Dawn, even what, even <laughs> on top, let alone people don't play Golden Sun. But I mean, like, eh. Since I'm going on tangents anyways, it's kind of weird. I don't do it on purpose, but the Golden Sun's the only game of the Golden Sun series I haven't done a playthrough or a stream of. It's not even though like you, it'd be very easy to spec that it's because I don't want to. I do. I don't hate Dark Dong nearly as much as other fans of the community. It's definitely the weakest entry, and the things that are bad about that game I really don't like. But I actually do think there's a few things about Dark Dawn that that game does that the original games don't, and I think, and I think it's actually for the better. And it'd be worth playing through that whole entire game, for better or for worse, going for the good as well as the bad, just to showcase those particular things that I think Dark Dawn actually does right that the other games don't. And this is wait, this is our block, not just the rambling part of Game and Chill. I don't know, that's about, that's about it with the classes. It's been so long since I actually sat down and made more of them. To the point where I think it might be more cool to actually come back at another time and talk more about it then. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't bring up anything about the team-ups. I've been p playing around with the idea of making class-specific team-up. Like, I wasn't already having a hard enough time trying to balance <laughs> that whole mechanic in of itself. But I guess it would... But I really want, but especially because even if it doesn't make it into the final game, it would be fun to play around with the idea in my head. Because it just gives like more reasons to use these different classes if they all had like their own summon like ability tied to them. And I just thought it was cool, so I did like a couple sketches of the mix. Though like I've been rambling for so long, there's no way that. There's no way I'm going to line this up 
so let the drawings that I've done actually line up with what I'm talking about. So I hope you just enjoy all the little shenanigans that happen along the way. And also, like, I don't think I'm even recording it, but I am doing a little bit of Animal Crossing in the mix, because I just figured, why not? And so, yeah, you're probably seeing all the sketches, even the non OC ones at this point. Now, let's just say the full drawings, the final life ones. Of course, mine is Sarah, the one I did of her that they actually bought her to color, because of course, of all the old C drawings I do that I finish, she'd be the one that I actually <laughs> bought her to finish, actually color and shade, even though I've, like, she's probably the character I've colored and shade the most in the pa past couple of years, maybe even the only one if I'm talking last year and 2019. <laughs> I don't know, like ever since I got that sketchbook, I've really been fixating on sketching more than actually digitally drawing. It kind of ties back to like something I said before of like, I'm, I don't really consider myself an artist. I just draw to try to get myself in the swing of... I, I do, I draw as an outlet for my ideas. And if I get my ideas out, it doesn't really matter if they're colored. The idea is out. It's, it's in a physical space and not just my head. For basically as long as I keep that physical, physical or digital thing. So a lot of times I'm just content with a sketch. Because I'm not sharing the world and not doing things about, about it. Remember when I said I was doing Animal Crossing in Art Block? Yeah, I kind of had a feeling I'd get greedy for it. Because guess who got bees up in their face again? This dude. Yep, 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 yep. This dude. Maybe I can do a little sync up. Pause. Left, right, back. Anyways, anything else about specifically the classes of Overseer Elements? Eh, I guess I will say if I remember next time, I'll try to pull it up. If I definitely, if I do anything more sketches with the classes than that, you'll all see them. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you all. I forgot what I was gonna say. So I think that's a good sign to just sign off. So thank you all for like, letting me just ramble about my game that I'm never gonna make again. And take care.